Hello students. Today I will discuss how to interface different LEDs to microcontroller and how to generate various patterns. So I will start from the basic. So first of all, let us open Proteus software. I will explain step by step all the interfacing diagram as well as the programming steps as well. So let us create new project. <clears throat> title give title to the project as LED pattern one two three. This is the name for my project. Select the folder in which you want to save. So I have created one folder name as a protis on the desktop. So I will save my all the files inside that folder so i have selected this folder so i am saving this project into the folder called protis then click on next select do not create a schematic select do not create a pcb layout we don't want to create a firmware project firmware project so that's why no firmware project next finish and that will open your Proteus. So here you want to build a project around 89C Fiber microcontroller. So that's why I select 89C Fiber microcontroller. I'm selecting 89C microcontroller and then I will need a different LEDs. So I'll select LED. So LEDs, I will select different color LEDs so that pattern will look good. So I will select blue, green, red and yellow. Various combinations of LEDs I will select so that the simulation virtually will look good. Now in interfacing, I will select this microcontroller and connect all these four LEDs one by one to the port pin. Uh, P2.0 to port pin 2.7. So connect all these LEDs sequentially one by one, one after the other. So this is my first LED. Then I'll select green one, place it nearby. So draw this interfacing diagram. <clears throat> so this is third LED. This is yellow LED. Alright. Now select all these four LEDs so that we can copy it simultaneously so select it properly so i have selected all the four leds then right click on it and then uh, copy to clipboard okay then again paste from clipboard so not necessary again to uh, this will save your time and will not require to take individual leds one by one okay so this will save our time. Now connect all the LEDs one by one. So I will connect 2.0 to first LED. Then 2.1 to second LED. And so on and so forth. So connect all the LEDs one by one. Be careful while connecting. Because these connections are very, very important. If you short somewhere else at different point the result will be something different. So connections are pretty important. So use a very uh, good operating mouse or use precisely selection so that you connect all the LEDs. Now I need to connect a ground point so that my circuit will complete. So right click and from right click select plus and from plus from terminals you select ground this is one way or another way is you just click here and from this you can select ground terminal so anyway you can select this ground terminal and connect all the leds ground points here this proteus software is very important too because many of the microcontroller projects such as in 8051, 
big microcontroller or in our microcontroller can be done very easily without need of physical hardware so now my uh, hardware is ready uh, now simply uh, the job is to flash the program file hex file into the microcontroller then my job is over so for that i need to open a kill software so i will open a kill now i have installed kill microvision 5 uh, which was available with me so i have installed that so initially i will close all the things now let us begin from the scratch so let's click on project click new project okay and i have created a one folder at 052 and inside that you create one folder okay so name it as led pattern one two three okay so i have created this folder you open it and then in that file in that folder you save your project file let's uh, name it as led patterns okay and save it so this is my project file now for a project which microcontroller i am interested in so let us select atmel and from atmel series i will select 89c5 and a basic microcontroller uh, which we have used in our Proteus simulation. So I have selected 89C5. Just look at the features which are available with 89C5. Click on OK. Say yes. Now in view, you go to the project window. On the left hand side, you will observe there is project available. Okay. So here now we want to add a C5. So for that click on file and then click new and then you can start writing your program okay so this is my uh, text one file later on i will save it so before writing program i have to take care that as i explained in the previous uh, video that i need to include uh, header file so first step is to include uh, rec 51.h file so this is essential uh, so that all libraries are available in this hidden file now as you can see very easily i have connected all the leds to the port t2 and therefore i can define this in uh, kill compiler by this statement hash define leds p2 so I have used alternative name as LEDs for port P2. Okay, so these are my first uh, initial uh, setups for writing a program. Later on, I need to write a void main, and this is my main function as usual. And in this, I'm going to write a while statement. Okay, so I am using a while loop. I explained in the previous uh, video that why to use this while loop. This while loop runs forever till your condition is true. This loop executes. Okay, so this is the basic skeleton of my uh, project or of my C file. Okay, so in this first thing is I need to initialize few variables. So here I need to write a loop which will execute eight times because here you will observe that there are eight LEDs and I need to flash these LEDs one by one in a sequential pattern. Okay. So for that, uh, let us understand how these patterns will be. So here, uh, if I, if I put one G, uh, sorry, one, then zero, then again one alternate LEDs if I turn on. Okay then this will generate a hex code so uh, for these first four uh, bits it will generate a hex code as a and for this it will generate a hex code as a and therefore the code will be 0 x a a okay so this is a hex code for this particular uh, 
sequence. Similarly, if we change this, now this one will become zero, and this zero will become one. Therefore, I will change the sequence alternately. This will become one. This will become zero. This is one. With zero, this is one. So here my hex code will be. If you look at this is uh, binary zero one zero one that is five. So zero x fifty five. So this is my hex code. So I have to enter uh, first zero x a a or zero x five five, and then I have to change it to zero x a a. So for that I will go to the um, uh, program and here I will assign LEDs or the LEDs as a pattern sequence as 0x55. So this is my initial condition. Now before that I will define one variable unsigned integer i which I am going to use in my for loop. Now I want to execute this loop for seven times because I have 8 bits. So for i is equal to 0, i less than 7, i plus plus, this is my loop. And inside that, I want uh, to change the sequence of bits. That is 0x55, I want to change it to 0xaa. So I will write LEDs is equal to, I will use invert operator. This is a bit invert operator. Uh, uh, so I will make use of that LEDs. So this is all about. And now simply I have to call it delay. Let's say delay of 30 seconds, 30 milliseconds. Okay. So this function delay I need to write. Okay. So here you can write by writing a tab that this is for alternate LEDs. Okay. And you can write comments so that these comments are helpful for the users. This is inversion of previous byte. Okay. Uh, so after completing this, now I will write uh, my <coughs> uh, delay program. So I will write here void delay. I will input unsigned integer. Uh, let's say delay i'll use one variable okay and then inside that i will write a delay so here unsigned integer loop i'll initialize it to zero similarly unsigned integer loop one is equal to also zero okay so i have initialized both the variables and now i'll write a for loop for let's say loop equals to zero okay i'll run it for how many times this variable this this integer which i have passed okay loop plus plus so this is my first loop then inside that i'll write one more loop for loop one is equal to zero okay i'm starting with zero and then put a semicolon then loop one less than let's say 10,000 a random number I am selecting then loop 1 plus plus okay and just put a semicolon here so that this loop this inner loop will run 10,000 times without doing anything okay and this outer loop will run uh, whatever this number you have passed to this particular loop so that much delay it will generate okay and definition of this function you will need to uh, declare this function here so i will declare here delay and sign integer delay okay and i put a semicolon so this is all about so i think my program is ready for execution so before that i will save this file so let's save it save this file you can save this file in this uh, uh, by name. So let's write a name LED patterns. I'll give you this, and by default, it will generate .c 
ठीक है डॉट सी एम सॉरी एम सॉरी आई नीड टू गिव द नेम डॉट एक्सटेंशन सो आई री सेव इट अगेन सेव एज सो गो टू दिस फाइल लेडी पैटर्न्स ठीक है एंड जस्ट टाइप डॉट सी सेव इट सो दिस विल क्रिएट अ डॉट सी फाइल एंड नाउ यू ऐड दिस डॉट सी फाइल to your project so go to the source and add existing file to the so this file i want to add so that's why led patterns one so i have selected this folder inside that i have selected this c file this c file will now get added so you observe here your led patterns dot c file get added now after uh, doing these things you need to execute the program so for that <coughs> uh compile so zero errors okay and build in so before that i need to uh, set some patterns uh, or i'll need to set uh, do some settings so what are those settings so you go to the target and uh, right click and uh, here you change crystal oscillator frequency to 12 megahertz okay because uh, for 89c51 we use 11.059 megahertz as a uh, crystal frequency and here in the output folder you create hex file so this is very essential because this will create a hex file and this is the um, option where you want to save your file so you just uh, select the folder where you want to save so led pattern 1 2 3 this was the folder which i have created in that folder i want to save my file So I have selected that. Click on OK. My job is over. Now I have already compiled. Just build. Your hex file will be generated. See, observe here. Your hex file is created. Okay. You just look at this uh, build output data. Now go to the your Proteus. Uh, double click on this. Uh, here you need to flash a program file. So from the uh, downloaded folder. You simply uh, upload or flash that file. So for that on my desktop, I have this eight zero five two. Then <clears throat> I have this LED patterns one two three. Here this hex file. So I will open it. Okay. Click place. And your job is over. See, after few delays, LEDs are changing. Let me zoom it a little bit. so that you can watch it so this is a way how we can flash leds in different way all right so here we can test for different patterns now i have uh, initially i have uh, a that means first led is on then now you can you can change the pattern first two led is off second two led is off then first two led is off second two led is off in this way then alternately you can change the pattern in this way you can change different patterns and test for your program this will definitely improve your programming skills and ability all right and this will certainly help you so i think this is all about uh, uh, in the next video we'll look at some different interesting program thank you